Hello year one. Now today we are going to start a new piece of work. Uh, we're still carrying on with our robot aliens and monsters theme and we are going to make a cityscape. Now this piece of work is inspired, is, is about the story Monsters Love Broccoli. And you can see this, it's a cityscape. There are lots of buildings along the street and cars on the road. And above the buildings, there are monsters appearing on the, on the, um, on the buildings and even eating the buildings. And we're going to have a go at making our own cityscape from the story Monsters um, Love Broccoli. And the story is on your Firefly page this week, so you can have a look at it if you would like to. Now, if you have card, coloured card, then you can make um, a cityscape like this. If you don't have coloured card, that's absolutely fine. You will be making a cityscape using paper, and then you will be drawing all the buildings on, and then colouring them in with anything that you have. Now, I have got um, oil pastels to use, so I will use the black oil pastel to do the outline, and then I'm going to use oil pastel to complete it. But what I'm going to do, Year One, is I'm going to show you how to make the card version of the project, but you can, of course, do it just using pen and pencil if you would like to. Okay? All right then, so let's get started. To do this project, you will need a piece of black card or any other card colour that you want to put in the background and a variety of different coloured pieces of card to make the building. If you are going to be drawing it, drawing the scene, then you need a piece of paper, you need a pencil, and you need uh, the past pastels or felt tips or whatever you want to use. You will also need, if you are going to make the card cityscape, you will need a glue stick and scissors as well. Okay, so let's get started. Now the first thing I'm going to do is make the buildings. Now, I will show you some ideas for the buildings you might want to, to make. One minute. Now, year one, here are some examples of building shapes that you might want to use. You could make ones with domes on top. You could make rectangular ones, two different sizes. You could make ones that slope inwards. It's up to you to decide. I also, at this stage, want to show you some of these painted um, Monsters Eat Broccoli pictures, okay? And these are the sort that you could make as well. Okay, so here are some of the buildings you might want to make. So this is what you will do. You will take a piece of your card and you can draw on the shape of the building you want. So I think I'm going to have one with let me do it in pastel so you can see better i'm going to do one with a dome shape coming out like this and pointed at the top and coming down like this so that's my first building and i'm going to cut that out and i'm going to place it on my paper Okay, and what I want to do is I want to fill up my whole piece of paper. So I'm going to do buildings going right across the piece of paper. I'm going to take another piece of card. And I think this building is going to be a skyscraper. So it goes up really tall. And then I'm going to have another building next to it like this. That. So there's going to be two buildings next to each other. And I'm going to take my scissors and cut that one out. 
So that will go next to this one. And then I'm going to... Okay, next, let me think about the next building I want to do. I like these ones that go up in steps like this. So let me have a go. I'm going to take a purple piece of paper this time and I'm going to draw those steps. So it's going to be start smaller and then I'm going to do a sharp bit on top and then it's going to come down the other side like this. So this is my next building. Cut it out. And then stick it. Well, no, I'm just going to place it onto my piece of paper to see how it looks. Okay, so here goes. There it goes. And I've got room for one more building. And because I haven't got much room, I'm going to do half a building. So I'm just going to put my piece of paper like that so I can see how big I want it. And I'm going to do half a building coming out like that and draw the line there so I know how big to make it. And here I go, let me cut it out. Cut off those black edges. And there we have my last building. Okay, so I'm beginning to make a, a um, my cityscape and once you're happy with your buildings and where they are positioned you can stick those down onto the paper okay so I will leave you to do that year one right so when your buildings are stuck down now it's time to make the road so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a white pastel and I, oh no, first of all, I'm going to make the cards. So I'm going to take another piece of paper and I'm going to lay my piece of paper here so I can see how big I need to draw my car. So I want it to be, first of all, let me just draw the road, the middle of the road like that so I can see that I want my car to be that big on one side and I'll just draw the pavement on the other side like that. So my car I'm going to draw so it fits on one side of the road. So here I go, it's going to be a bubble car, I'm going to put windows on and put the door down the middle. For the moment it doesn't look very much like a car but once I cut it out and I put the wheels on it will do so there there goes my car I'm going to cut out some wheels you may want to draw the wheels first it's up to you so there's one wheel to go there and another wheel to go there okay and once you're happy you can glue your car down into position okay there's one wheel two wheels and there we are glue it into position and what you can do year one is you can make maybe one, two or three cars to go on your road, road depending on how much room you have. Okay, so the next step year one is to, if you have a look, oh, let me show you my big picture once again. If you have a look at my big picture, you can see that I've done three cars and then you can see that on the buildings, I've put some small pieces of paper to make it look like it's the windows of the building. Okay, so that's what we need to do as well. So we are going to take, um, we're going to take a piece of paper, a piece of coloured card, and what you can do is you can cut a strip off the ends like this. 
a strip and then I'm going to put these yellow windows on this building here and then I'm going to cut them again into squares like this and these squares are going to be stuck onto the building okay so I'll get my glue and I'm going to think about where I want the light to be shining in the building have one there. Now you might want to do them all over or you may want to do just what I'm doing and just put a few of the lights on. It's up to you to decide. Okay. The other idea might be that you want to do rectangles for the shape of the light. So if you want to do rectangles, you just cut another strip of paper and then what you can do is make the pieces larger. So instead of squares, you are making rectangles and you can stick those onto the building as well. Okay, so you decide you place the windows as you want them. Okay, so We've done the buildings, we've done the cars, we've done the uh, windows, and now it's time to think about adding the monsters. Okay, so you can see my monsters over here. Now you have had a lot of practice of drawing monsters and aliens and robots. So we're going to go right in and get started. So let me just get myself a piece of paper. You can use plain paper or you can use coloured paper. It is up to you to decide. Okay, and what I'm going to suggest you do so that your robot isn't too big, I'm going to suggest you fold your piece of paper in half your robot or your monster, depending on what you're going to do. And then you're just going to make your robot this big, okay? Because if, or maybe even cut it in half again. So fold it in half, cut it in half again. And then draw on your, ro your monster or your robot. So I'm going to do a monster like this. I'm going to give him a big mouth, big eyes. Big legs. Wiggly arms. And you can colour in your robot, cut out your robot or your monster. Once he has been coloured in and cut out, so I'm cutting out my robot first and then I'm going to start to colour in. And cut him out. Colour him in. Now I'm only just going to start colouring him in so you can see what I'm doing. I'm just going to colour in his eyes. And then once he's all coloured in, you can decide where to stick him on your picture. So I'm going to think, hmm, where shall I put my, my monster? He's going to sit here and I'm going to stick him on. And you, year one, can make one, two or three monsters to stick onto your um, cityscape. Okay, year one. So this is how to make a Monsters Love Broccoli Cityscape. Good luck.